हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ आर डी महाजन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एम आई टी औरंगाबाद प्रेजेंटिंग माय वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन विच आई विल डिस्कस टू प्रॉब्लम एग्जांपल नंबर वन शो दैट इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी साइन लैमरा पाई डिवाइडेड बाय लैमरा इनटू कॉस ऑफ लैमरा एक्स d lambda is equals to two values first pi by 2 in the range 0 to pi x lies between 0 to pi and second value is 0 for x greater than pi uh, let f of x is equals to pi by 2 for the range 0 to pi and second value is 0 for x greater than pi uh integral contains cosine term therefore we require to find we require to find Fourier cosine transform. Uh, as this uh, integral is having that term of cos of lambda x, means we require to obtain a cosine transform, and therefore. That Fourier cosine transform is given by f c lambda is equals to root two by pi integration from zero to infinity f of u into cos of lambda u du and this is equals to root two by pi as it is splitting this integral. As integration from zero to pi first range, and in that value of the function is pi by two. Therefore, it is pi by two into cos of lambda u, and remaining that is zero to infinity. The value is zero. Therefore, it is zero into cos of lambda u du and therefore it is equals to uh pi by 2 we can take outside into root of 2 by pi integration from 0 to pi of cos of lambda u du this term becomes zero then uh this is root pi by 2 into root pi by 2 cancel with 1 and therefore the remaining is root of pi by 2 integration of cos is sin lambda u divided by coefficient of u limit from 0 to pi and therefore it is root of pi by 2 Uh, Subtracting the upper limit for u as pi, we get sine lambda pi upon lambda minus lower limit as sine zero. Sine zero is zero, and therefore we have Fourier cosine transform f c lambda is equals to root of Pi by two multiplied by sine lambda pi divided by lambda, and we call this as equation one. Ah, uh, here the first part is over. In that part, I have calculated a uh, Fourier cosine.
transform and which we denote it as equation number one and then uh, in next part we are required to find uh, Fourier inverse Fourier cosine transform uh, applying that result using inverse Fourier cosine transform formula we get and therefore uh, inverse Fourier transform is given by fx is equals to root 2 by pi integration from 0 to infinity uh, fc lambda whatever we have obtained in part 1 or equation 1 uh, multiplied by cos of lambda x d lambda and therefore it is equals to root 2 by pi as it is integration from 0 to infinity substituting the value of fc lambda from equation 1 as root pi by 2 multiplied by sin lambda pi divided by lambda into cos of lambda x d lambda and therefore it is equals to uh, this two get cancelled uh, we have integration from 0 to infinity of sin lambda pi into cos of lambda x divided by lambda d lambda is equals to f of x then changing the side transferring this to left and this to right we get therefore integration from 0 to infinity sin lambda pi divided by lambda multiplied by cos of lambda x d lambda is equals to f of x and then substituting the two values for fx the first value is pi by 2 for the range 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi and the second value is 0 for x greater than pi uh, a required answer of a required uh, Fourier integral representation therefore uh, remember the steps in first step or uh, in first part we obtain Fourier cosine transform calling that as equation 1 and then whatever this result we put it in this inverse Fourier cosine transform result to find that required uh, Fourier integral representation Uh, let us see uh, second example uh, examples number two prove that integration from 0 to infinity of 1 minus cos lambda pi divided by lambda into sine of lambda x d lambda is equals to again two values first one is pi by 2 for the range 0 to pi 
x lies between 0 to pi and the second value is 0 for x greater than pi. Uh, as x is greater than or equals to 0, we require to obtain either Fourier cosine transform Fourier cosine or Fourier sine transform and to know whether we to apply uh, sine or cosine transform we have to observe the term from that integral. Uh, here integral is containing sine term as integral contains sine term we apply Fourier sine transform formula and therefore that fs lambda Fourier sine transform is equals to root 2 by pi integration from 0 to infinity f of u multiplied by sine of lambda u du and that is equals to root 2 by pi uh, splitting this integration from 0 to infinity as 0 to pi and pi onwards therefore 0 to pi and a pi to infinity uh, for 0 to pi the function value is pi by 2 f of u is pi by 2 multiplied by sine of lambda u du second value is 0 into sine lambda u du after splitting it, we have to integrate the individual term with respect to u. Therefore, it is pi by 2 constant. I can take outside into root 2 by pi as it is. Integration of sine minus cos lambda u divided by lambda and limit from 0 to pi. Uh, this term is 0. And therefore, it is equals to uh, root pi by 2 into root pi by 2. One root cancel with this. And therefore, the remaining is root of pi by 2. Uh, I will cancel that minus sign by changing the limit. Therefore, this become upper, this become lower. Cos of 0, 1 minus lower limit. Cos of lambda pi. And divided by lambda and we call this as equation 1 uh, here I have completed a half part in which I have obtained Fourier cosine transform one two three steps uh, three important steps to find out this Fourier cosine sine. Fourier sine transform. Okay, and then uh, we use inverse Fourier sine transform result to obtain this required integral representation using inverse Fourier. Sine transform F 
formula we have or we get uh, fx f of x as root 2 by pi integration from 0 to infinity fs lambda or uh, the value of Fourier sine transform into sine of lambda x d lambda and therefore it is equals to root 2 by pi as it is substituting the value of Fourier sine transform from equation 1 as root pi by 2 multiplied by Uh, it is integration from 0 to infinity value of that Fourier sine transform root pi by 2 into 1 minus cos lambda pi divided by lambda into sine lambda x d lambda and therefore it is equals to uh, root pi by 2 into root 2 by pi get cancelled we have integration from 0 to infinity of 1 minus cos lambda pi divided by lambda into sine of lambda x d lambda and that is equals to f of x and then changing this side we get therefore therefore integration from 0 to infinity of 1 minus cos lambda pi divided by lambda into sine of lambda x d lambda is equals to fx f of x and then substituting the value of fx there are two values for f of x first one is pi by 2 for the range 0 to pi 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi and the second value is 0 as x greater than pi as the required answer Or the required Fourier integral representation. Therefore, with the help of these two simple examples, I try to explain how we can obtain the required Fourier integral representation. Therefore, so far uh, I have discussed total uh, four problems. First two in the first part, and this two, two more in the second part of this video. Some more I will discuss in next part on this uh, Fourier transform of sorry uh, Fourier integral representation of the given function. Therefore, if you are watching my videos, please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel for latest updates or new videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.